Good morning. This is Laura coming from Eat to Your Health with Carnivore. I'm going to try to get some better lighting. Let's see if that's better. Um, I just wanted to show you something. I make a lot of this um, just because it's quick and easy. It takes about 10 minutes. So I have ribeye fat here in the air fryer. So I'm going to turn it on and I set it to roast or to broil. And I set it to five minutes and then I flip them over and do five more. So we're gonna do that. I've got the skillet on. What this is is hamburger that I have mixed with liver, uh, calf liver. I usually get like 10 pounds of the, the hamburger and I mix like two to two and a half pounds of the uh, liver into it. So this is something that you can make up like even like that right now fasted, um, making it up for later put it away this is something easy you could take with you to work if you have a way to reheat and I, I suppose you could eat cold hamburger cold hamburger is probably okay but I don't think the cold ribeye fat is delicious um, those are pretty good when they're warm but they do warm up well so I'm gonna turn the heat up on that so hopefully you guys were able to see um, last night we did um, a broadcast called Meaty Mondays with the Fierce Felines. It was our second broadcast. Um, it was Rebecca, Robin, Rhonda, G, and myself. Um, it was pretty good. If you haven't, I suggest you go out to any of those channels. So, of course, mine's Eat to Your Health with um, Carnivore. Carnivore. Carnivorous Grandma is Robin. Rhonda is Carnivore Leo. Rebecca is Carnivore Family. And G is, of course, hanging with the Browns. So if you didn't see that, um, it is about an hour-long broadcast, but it encompasses a lot of information. Um, and look at my shirt. Isn't this cute? Meat, heels, carbs, steel. And I am wearing it to work, but I'm going to wear my shirt over it, of course. But just because it's getting cold, I'm doubling up on articles of clothing. So another thing I wanted to go over, I've had some people reach out to me personally um, that have said they don't think that they could ever, they don't think they could switch to this lifestyle. They do have some health issues going on. So one of the easiest things I say is give it 30 days, try, you know, follow some of the people on here, follow the doctors like Dr. Baker. Um, Tony Hampton, Bill Bavadia, Baker, Barry, Chaffee. I know I'm missing somebody, many of them actually now. Um, but just go out there and kind of follow those people. You know, they have the research to back up what they're saying. Um, some of it's anecdotal, but when you have thousands and thousands of people that are healing metabolic diseases, um, there's something to it. Um, Rhonda brought up last night that the American Heart Association has had to make an addendum to their stuff. Same with the Diabetic Association um, have added you know low carb, which this is the absolute crazy low carb as you can get. Um, it's good for you, of course, going to bring down your blood sugar and bring down your blood pressure. Um, so people who do this, I always say, keep an eye on your blood pressure. Um, and get with your doctor. If your blood pressure starts to become very low, that's something you want to talk with him or her about because you may need your medication lowered as you're going, which is a good thing because ultimately the goal is to get you back into normal to where you're not having to take any medicine. So that's the goal. So never think that it's too hard, that it's too late. Dr. Barry always says if you can make if you can fog up a mirror, it's not too late. Especially with diabetics, I have seen such a miraculous turnaround for several um, of the people that I see as their nurse, um, changing their lifestyle. Some of them went more like keto, ketovore. A couple of them have went full on carnivore and they did contact their doctors and they did get approval. Uh, with their docs. So 
I am not a doctor. I am not giving you medical advice. I am merely sharing with you what has worked for me and several of the people that I associate myself with and several that I don't even know yet. So I'm ramping up because this weekend I will um, be going deer hunting. So I'm going to make up a lot of stuff. Probably Thursday I maybe will go live and show some of the stuff that I make to take with me uh, because I we try to sit there as much as possible for the day um, so I'll take stuff with me maybe it'll bring the deer in hey that's an idea that's not really baiting right so see these are about halfway done so I just kind of roll them around get them moved they don't have to be perfect This did mess with my OCD in the beginning because I was like, I have to flip all of them over. I don't even worry about it. It's close enough. Um, you can also do this in a cast iron skillet or even a regular skillet. So if you're somebody that says, I can't afford to get one of those right now, that's completely okay. You can do this in a regular skillet. You can do it in a cast iron. Um, I'd say probably the way Dr. Uh, Barry and Nisha do their bacon chips in a bigger pot so that the grease doesn't splatter out, my guess is you could do the same thing with the ribeye fat. All right, so I'm going to show you this meat. This is where I stop cooking it. I like to have some that is very rare still, so I don't know if you can make that out. A little bit of pink still in there. I like to do that. So then what I do is I start dishing it up. And that way too, when you, if you reheat it, you don't have to worry about it being overcooked. I don't take any of the fat out of it. I just leave what was in there. Another thing is if you start this way of eating, in the beginning, I recommend that the fat that you eat, I would not do like what I'm doing here, putting the fat in. Um, unless you're going to eat this cold. Just because it can be a little hard on the stomach until your stomach is used to having the fat. Otherwise, I do keep all of the fat now. But I've been doing this for four years. And like I said, this is something you can make up. It's easy. Doesn't take much time. Of course, I'm making a mess on the stove, which is far for normal for me. And we'll let that set until this is done. done with the ribeye fat is just about completed if you are somebody that works out and you're afraid that working out and being carnivore that you can't do those I promise you you can um, I did my workout this morning I lifted weights and I was able to do um, several sets of I do 15 reps I did several sets of all of the arm workout that I do and shoulders and back um, but you have more energy with this way of eating let's get that so if you have any questions you can leave them um, in the comments I will get back to you um, I do have a full schedule today at work so It'll probably be either my lunchtime or this evening. If there's something you want to see me make, um, let me know. Now this weekend I normally do some videos, uh, but other than showing videos or pictures of what I'm able to harvest this year for deer season, I don't know that I'll have time to really get on um, on to do much, but we'll see. We will see. And also, share this out if there's anybody that's like, I'm running out of ideas, I don't know what to make. Um, 
and get with a butcher. If you have a butcher in your area or a locker, see if they will save you the ribeye fat. I get mine fairly inexpensive. I know some places, uh, somebody said that their, their butcher charged them. It was pretty costly. I would probably be looking for a different butcher uh, because normally they mix it in to make their burger, but they throw away like 50% of it's what my butcher said they used to. And I said, oh no, I will help you out with that. So I normally buy quite a bit. Usually 15 to 20 pounds a week is what I buy. Now I do mix it in with some of my stuff. I do make tallow lotion. I'm gonna make some tallow deodorant. Um, and then I just keep tallow and jar that up in case of emergency because I am a prepper planner so I have that in my little uh, arsenal just in case because you can actually survive by just eating fat and salt so that just has a few more seconds and then I'll show you what it looks like and then I will get off of here and let you guys have a good rest of your Tuesday. All right. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is a glorious sound. So that is what they look like. And what I do, you don't have to do it this way, because um, I do like the fat, but I do strain some of that off of there um, because I like to salt this but I don't salt mine anymore until they're on this paper towel because I like to save the tallow, the, the ribeye fat to make lotions and stuff like that. So I don't want the salt in there. I mean, it's fine. Salt's good for your skin too. But that is normally what I do. We'll shut this and try not to burn myself. Although, I don't know if anybody on here saw before, I had burned myself pretty significantly right here and it was kind of a triangle and i used that tallow lotion that i make and it is i don't even have a scar you can't even tell where it happened it's crazy i just tried it because i was like hey why not let's see what happens so all right so i give these about five minutes to kind of cool off and then i will add them in on top of these so that when I warm it up then I kind of mix it together and you've got a very high fat high protein carnivore meal so hopefully that all makes sense as to what I'm talking about and like I said if you have any questions please put them in the comments any ideas you want me to show put them in there and I'll do my very best to do that and uh, please like share subscribe um, as I said meet heat eat and repeat